Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature Flowers Photo P and your iPhone tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these letter faces or portrait letters. Okay, to do this we need to be in Photo P. In Photo P we are going to need to use some layers, which you can see here, some layer masks, a letter and a picture of a face. So I'll show you what to do. First thing you need to do is to open your photograph of a letter or you can type a letter in Photo P, it's up to you. I've just got one already made. Then you need to file open place a photograph of a face. I've got one that I've cut out of the background of already, which makes it a lot quicker and easier, but you know there's plenty of tutorials to show you how to do that if you haven't done it already. Once you've got your face, you need to duplicate it, or do that in a minute actually. You need to make it slightly see-through so you can work out where you want to place it on the letter. So you move it around when it's slightly see-through to find the exactly right space you want to put your face. Once you're happy with your selection, you go back and make it not see-through anymore, and then you hide the layer. You then go to the layer with the letter on it, you click the magic wand tool, you click inside the letter so you've got a flashing line, you then go to your layer with the face, you open it so you can see it and you add a layer mask so you can see you've got the cutout face. Next, you need to duplicate that layer. So duplicate that layer so you've got two layers. Delete that layer mask and add a layer mask instead. Once you have done that, you need to click select all the background images by using the magic wand tool and you need to then add your layer mask. Nope. You need to step backwards, select inverse, and then add your layer mask. That way you get a perfect cut out of the face. Then all you need to do is click on the layer mask, click on the paintbrush, make sure you've got a fairly large but not too large, hard edged brush. Make sure you've got black selected and then use the layer mask just to rub out all the bits where the letter is to reveal the letter and then the bit around the front where the chin is. Being really careful not to cut out the chin. And there you go, you have your letter face or portrait letter it's very straightforward it's just a question of remembering which layer you've got so you've got a layer just to go through it with the letter on it which you don't actually see you've then got you need to see the cutout letter and then the layer with the face on it that's got nothing else so if i hide the letter you can see you've just got the face and the letter and if i add the letter back in you can see what's going on Okay, you can make all sorts of faces and letters. You can do people, letters, all sorts of things. Have fun making your own versions. And if you've enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you'd like to hear any more tutorials. And um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.